Okay. So the Bengals lost to the Ravens, or you can say the Ravens beat the Bengals. 41 to 38 in what was probably the best game on the NFL schedule as far as like aesthetics, like watching that game was amazing. But this is a tale of two quarterbacks going two opposite directions and only because of their organization. You swap these two, they're probably in the same boat. Sure, Burrow's been to a Super Bowl, but who are you betting on to go to a Super Bowl sooner or again? Would you rather say Lamar is going to get to his first Super Bowl or would you say Joe Burrow will actually go back to a Super Bowl? The Bengals are doing Joe Burrow dirty by being a cheap organization, not surrounding him with a good defense. Burrow's stats today, three for 30 for 39, 392 yards, five touchdowns and a pick. Absurd. That's fantasy quarterback number one probably in the NFL. But they gave up 41 points, some of them in overtime, to Lamar Jackson, who, in my opinion, is the best football player in the world. Lamar, Patrick Mahomes is the best quarterback in the world, but Lamar Jackson might be the best football player in the world. He made a touchdown pass. I believe it was to Isaiah Likely in a broken play where the ball hit the ground and he almost fumbled it and he stiffed on a defender but felt like two times and then threw a dart into the end zone for a touchdown. It might be one of the most spectacular plays Lamar Jackson has done in his whole entire career. The dude is absurd. The dude is amazing. The guy just plays football better than anyone else plays football in the NFL. Football, not quarterback, again. Lamar's stats, 26 for 42, 348 yards, four touchdowns, no picks. Oh, and just added a cool 12 for 55 on the ground. So what is that? 403 total yards for Lamar Jackson. Beats his division rivals. The team starts off 0-3. Now they're 0-2, and now they're 3-2. But to the part of the organizations, you can be the world's most talented employee, you can be the world's most talented architect, doctor, or use a doctor for example, surgeon. But if you're at the wrong hospital with the wrong staff around you, the wrong assistants, you can mess up the open heart surgery. That's what's happened with Joe Burrow. He has no help. He has no support system. They got to pay Jamar Chase. If they don't pay Jamar Chase, then he has nothing. The defense is horrible. The head coach, I feel like, can be good, but he's also working with nothing. This defense is one of the worst defenses in the NFL. The Bengals just give up way too many points, way too easily. And that's why the Bengals have fallen to one in four and looking at, at themselves as, hey, we're wasting the prime of Joe Burrow. Joe Burrow's now, what, on his fifth season in the NFL, I believe? Four for fifth for Joe Burrow? I'm going to double check that for you guys. I think he's in his fifth season in the NFL. His rookie year. Yes, yeah, his fifth season. Rookie year, only played 10 games, got hurt. Last year, only played five games, got hurt. 2023, 10 games. He's only had one healthy season. Well, here's another healthy season. What it looks like a healthy season, at least. And the Bengals, well, they're just treating Joe Burrow wrong. They are literally putting him in the most difficult situation ever. Now they're 0-3 at home. Usually you win your home games. Luckily for them, we're going to be talking about them being 2-3 and because they got the Giant at Giants, at Browns. They should win both of those games. Then Eagles, Raiders, but then Ravens, Chargers, Steelers. They have to win their next four games. They have to get to 5-4 and four to have a shot at the playoffs. But Bengal fans, I'm so sorry for you guys because they are blowing the prime of Joe Burrow. Poor Bengal fans. You guys can't catch a break. All right, guys. Thank you for watching. That's our post-game reaction show of all the NFL games today. My name is George on tap. Usually we do this on Monday, but I thought we'd try to get these out on Sunday night sometimes. That way you guys get these nice and early. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you guys next time.